Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. We're going to talk about the neurobiology of Thanksgiving and neurobiology of gratitude and a little bit about what that has to do with opioids. Yes. This is a great theme for today because tomorrow, the first thing that's going to happen is my dad is going to make us go around on the table and every person's going to have to say what they're grateful for. At the end of this little chat, we can find out what you, Peggy Mason, are grateful for. And what are you grateful for? I will absolutely say that. What is gratitude, Aaron? Gratitude is a sense of well-being and pro-social inclination attendant to having benefited from the activities of another. I feel fantastic when I get these gratuitous acts of kindness towards me. It doesn't even have to be a quote unquote a kindness. It can be, I write a letter to a colleague and they answer with a really interesting letter back. That makes me feel very good and connected. And it comes in the realm, I, I feel thankful for that. I feel grateful for that. How would you describe that thing that you are feeling? I would describe it as a very positive, almost euphoric feeling. What makes me grateful is unexpected kindnesses. What Annie Dillard called unmerited grace. Absolutely. And then all of a sudden, I'm happier. My state is more positive because of somebody else's actions. What about mu opioids? Mu opioids are, are really fun. I used to be in pain research, okay? The first thing that I did as a scientist, well, once I got to graduate school anyway, after a brief foray into the retina, the first thing that I did was to study what we call nociceptive modulation, which is in more popular terms, pain modulation. Why do sometimes you feel a vaccination shot as painful and sometimes you feel, oh, I don't care about that, nothing. Um, why are we experiencing different things as more painful or less painful at different times? That's a, and one of the reasons is because we get opioids. So morphine is the best analgesic we have, the best drug that we can use to kill pain. Once we realized that there were endogenous opioids in the body, people were very interested to say, well, if we give people a blocker of endogenous opioids, are they all of a sudden gonna feel a lot of pain? So are, is this system ongoing? Is this system always operating so that we're releasing these opioids to dull down the pain of living? And the answer was no, you didn't see it in just you and me getting uh, naloxone, which is the antagonist at the opioid receptor. And then they gave it to, to runners and runners didn't report all of a sudden that they felt a lot of pain. Even if their natural opioid receptors were antagonized, they still didn't feel pain. That shouldn't be the case. If your natural pain blockers are being blocked, then you should feel more pain. Even I can figure that out. It was a total surprise that pain was not the thing that happened that, that was revealed by administering a opioid receptor antagonist. Instead, what happened was that people became less euphoric. So what opioids do on, you know, right now, you, me, is that they facilitate something close to euphoria. And when you give antagonist, you bring him down. So naloxone's really good at killing the runner's high. The runner's high is opioid, you give naloxone, you bring it down. And so in that sense, what I, what this, what these really fun experiments are showing is that if you give a opioid receptor antagonist such as naloxone, people no longer feel so socially connected and they try to reach out for more opportunities to connect. And these opportunities to connect are also opportunities to feel grateful. So in a monkey world, they solicit grooming. They're trying to get this interaction, which you could term grateful. It's, it is going to engender gratitude by having one monkey groom the other monkey, which is, you know, a big monkey thing to do. It also involves afferent 
pathways that are involved just in the acceptance of warm touch. Warm touch is another thing. It's been called sensual touch. It's not entirely clear that the grooming is all about the these fibers, these CT fibers. I don't think it's all about that. When speaking of grooming and what it does for monkeys and humans, I, I understand it, is that, that these CT fibers, people who are touched can uh, have diminished levels of stress. Right. Opioids in general, they, they oppose the stress response. Right. So the idea, I think, of this new opioid business was that we develop a sort of addiction to getting good feedback from others and that that is involved in social cohesion and that what, what looks like gratitude in capuchin monkeys, at least, can lead to this opioid receptor response and, uh, and, and social cohesion. We need that. We can become addicted to that opioid. I think that that's basically the idea. You mentioned that your dad is going to make you and your family stand around and say those things that they are grateful for. A lot of things that have happened over the last year and that, that we hope for for the coming year. I'm certainly grateful for Chicago Brain Buddies. Aside from the fact that it's just fun talking to you, mu opioid mediated social interactions, I would never have thought about except for the Brain Buddies. <laughs> you know? yeah, this was a great topic. I learned a lot and also thought new things. And it's timely because... For all of my naysaying about gratitude, I do feel as though I experience gratitude a lot. I'm overwhelmed by the gratitude that I feel to so many people who just do, as you say, you know, gratuitous, unmerited, nice acts towards me. My guess is also that you are grateful for your long-running marital status. How long have you and your spouse been together? 32 years. I'm very grateful for that. As am I grateful for my mere 15 years with the great love of my life, Sharon Rosen's wife. And certainly grateful to all of our fo the folks who've li written to us, who participated in our video chats, who've commented on, the, on YouTube, who listened on the, the various podcast platforms, all of our brain buddies around the world. Loana in Mexico, Maggie in the UK, and Gordon in the UK. Yes, absolutely. What other holiday is centered around an emotion? It's just thanks to all of you for watching. Thank you for being in our community of Chicago Brain Buddies.